Okay, we are rolling. Well, obviously, we are, we are here with Hip Hop United, and we're hanging out with the uh, multifaceted, beautiful, amazing, incredible oh. Molly, doing what you do. It's always great to see you. How are you doing, Queen? You know what? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I've been rehearsing all week for a show that I have in New York, and it'll be my first show in New York since my last show, which was a very long time ago. So I'm, I'm pretty excited that um, life is turning out to be a, a big bowl of cherries. I love it. And as, <laughs> usu- and as usual, you're, you know, giving back, you're pouring into people. But when, before we get to, to all of that, I want to talk about your current single. Okay. You know, the current thing you've been you've been out promoting. It's called No Place Like Home. Uh, it's a uh, an amazing song. You know, I can hear the emotion uh, in you and your voice Thank as you're you. singing the lyrics. And Thank what you. I wanted to, to ask about was one, how that song came together and, you know, what you want people to take away from that song in terms of your journey, your life, Mm. um, as a result of that? Well, it's interesting because um, I've been on this journey for about three years of being creative again for myself. And it started with my heart um, being pricked and falling in love with the black banker, which you'd met before. And so, uh, you know, when I'm the kind of person that I sing when I'm happy. And, you know, it had been a very long time where I really sang because I was happy. You know, I'd try to get, okay, I should probably do a record. And God gave me this gift. And my grandmother would say, when are you going to do a record? You help so many people. But the song came about because I, Eric and I had gone on this two-year journey. It started with Kim Waters and getting in with him. And, you know, he, if you know him, he's an incredible jazz musician and and producer and so we got in and we did a couple love songs and we thought okay we might I might want to jump back in and really you know okay I still got it so uh, after a couple years we got with a couple other amazing producers and then you know it was National Women's Month and God has just really blessed me to be jumping around to Europe and getting tours and shows without an agent. And so all this fun shows are happening and everyone's like, where can we find your music? And I'm like, wait a minute. Most people have a full project done before they start getting on the road. And we got on the road. Actually, you guys did our first show, Hip Hop United in Miami. Um, Shout out to Michelle Dennis and Adopting Courage and Timberland and everybody in Miami who supported the um, the first show that we had and little John and, you know, Craig and all of our amazing musicians. But I called Ashley, Ashley, and I said, I want you to hear what I'm doing with the amazing Mark Batson in LA and, and some of the Chicago blues musicians. And I'm taking it back to my roots and I want to come up with something for national women's month because Eric's like, you're dropping in March. This is what you're doing. And so that was January, and I'd had about 45 songs that I'd finished over the last two years. Mm -hmm. And Ashley sent me a track. I sent her some blues um, musicians that I love, even like old school Lil Walter and some old, old, old soul stuff. And um, she came up with this track, and I got in with, um, with Miguel and... Actually, an uh, engineer, his name is Boog, and, and I love him because he's got a little bit of a hearing um, deficiency. He has to wear a, um, a unit on his head to really hear properly, but he got me in the studio that day. And Eric and I were at home when we first heard the track, and we just I, started, I came up with the melody, and, and then he started writing some of the lyrics, and he's like, this is your coming home record. So we got in the studio and got back in with Miguel, and recorded the uh, No Place Like Home song, and and we got Miguel to mix it. If you know Miguel, he's Grammy-winning. His first Grammy was with um, Lil Wayne's Lollipop, and from mm-hmm. then on he'd worked with, you know, Lenny Kravitz and Whitney Houston and everyone. So I thought it not robbery to choose a woman who's been a partner of mine as a producer, um, Ashley Ashley, and uh, yeah. So the song's kind of just taking wings. I'm old school. So, you know, I don't mind a song 
growing, you know, taking time to grow. Right. You know, and so it's it's nice to see how people are responding to No Place Like Home. Yeah, it's definitely getting a, a lot of great reception. Now, you've had the opportunity to work in a variety of genres, uh, but uh, the single that you do cho- that you did choose is is more blues. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, what kind of uh, you know inspired you to kind of go that route I as opposed to maybe R and B or soul? Well, or you know what like I feel like. You know, I'm mixed. So, and, and my upbringing is mixed from you know my great grandmother, uh, uh, who I'm named after, and my grandmother Beatrice says. Um, you know, we had a church with Nat King Cole, your great grandparents, and we were in Chicago, and and she's still on ninety four years old, ninety three years old, playing blues chords and gospel. Mm. So what made me lean toward the blues was, I um I always thought such a you know wonderful genre that everybody pulled from, but didn't get the respect monetarily, didn't get the respect, you know, for award shows and. And I know and I met a lot of older musicians that I really love. And, you know, out in SoCal, um, you, you just pull up to some of these places, uh, the Barbara Morrison Center for the Arts with Tim Morganfield and Michael Glioni and Eric Garcia and these amazing musicians. And a lot of them are in need. I mean, those guys help the other musicians that are in need. So mm-hmm. I just felt like I, I've always loved the blues. You know, it's a more forgiving genre because you can just, I, I like to be myself. You know, kick my shoes off and go somewhere when I'm performing. So, you know, not only to pay homage to the people who came before me and that I love to listen to, but also to give back. So that song is also the proceeds during National Women's Month are going to Women in Music with our Earth Angel and Earth Girl movement and also to others in need, you know. As usual, you're always pouring into people. You're always <laughs> giving back, which is the reason why you always have and and you're always a beacon of light uh, to anybody that surrounds you. Thank now, you. you're from Thank Chicago, you. is that correct? Yeah, well, I'm from Waukegan. Okay. But I have lived, I was born in Waukegan. I grew up Waukegan, Gurney, Highland Park. Um, early adulthood, you know, when you're 19, 20, Evanston, and then I... My last stop was Chicago Southside, but I have family everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I always say Chicago. I started in Chicago, it broke me. Because I, you know, and and I say it broke me, but it really gave me the realness and the grit that I needed. And then New York, I say raised me because I had some wonderful mentors and friends that really took me in in that world and, and embraced me. And then Atlanta, I say Atlanta made me because... You come to a place where black people are allowed to commerce and have business. Whereas where I'm from, in Waukegan, Chicago, you didn't see many black people have that opportunity to do business because the forces that be didn't like to see it. So, you know, it's nice to be in, in Atlanta where you see people who really support each other in business. And so... That's what I'm about. This song is about coming home, and it's not just about coming home to Chicago. It's about coming home to whatever you love. And so my love with the Black Banker gave me the ability to love music again for myself. And so I always say you do music that you love, and it's just such a benefit if anybody else enjoys it with you, right? Absolutely. So love is the... uh the catalyst yeah. uh, to, to, to what we see and what we hear. Yeah, yeah. Where can people find the song uh, so they could support you? And of course- it's, all, it's out on all platforms, No Place Like Home. Molly, and if you don't know me, it's Molly Like the Country, M-A-L-I, Wilson. And um, you can also, if you feel generous, Molly Wilson at oh, mollywilson.bandcamp.com. And so I always say, gift it to a friend, you know, do what what you need to do on that one. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate, you know, everything that you bring to the culture. We appreciate your energy and the fact that you continue to to support and uh, unlove on other people, uh, which is a reason why you will continue to stay blessed. Thank you. And you're definitely uh, someone that we should protect at all costs. Yeah, well, Uh, I'm so (laughs) grateful to all... 
uh, to all you guys and for Hip Hop United, I'm just, um, Brianna has been there for me at my old space and even before we had Stonewood here. So to be able to gift you guys with a, you know, a exclusive story is always going to be something that I continue to do. So thank you for having me. We appreciate you. Hip Hop United.